Okay, so let's talk about tag substitution. Now, what this is going to do is enable us to actually take a object, it doesn't matter any kind of thing with animation or any kind of tag based system in the HMI that we've built. Say, for instance, the traffic light, which we built, that is actually six objects deep, right? It's six things that we've actually added on top of each other. We grouped it together. Now, instead of having to build that and you know, build it again, we can actually take it and copy it copy and paste it and then use tag substitution so we can easily come in here and do tag substitution now I'm going to ex explain this to you real quick so the very top section is the tag you want to search for the bottom section is what you're going to replace with so if I wanted to replace the top section this green light button with yellow light I can easily hit replace all now we're not going to do that but I just wanted to give you a highlight of this is the top section is what you're searching for that you want to be replaced, the tag that you want to be replaced, right? And the, the bottom section is the tag you're going to replace that with. So with that said, let's actually do this. Let's, uh, let's come back in and I've added a new routine inside of my control logic processor, which is a structure text program that controls the traffic lights, right? And now these are tags slightly different. Um, like say for instance, these tags are again, going down to the controller scope of the traffic light logic which is right here so this is not going to be uh, tagged at the higher level of the processor which is the controller level this is going to be the program level so this will give you another little instance of that so what we're going to do is we're going to actually come in here and duplicate this screen we're going to call the screen structure text um, traffic traffic uh, light so we'll add that in there and you could name this whatever you want to I am merely naming it just like this because you know during the training we, we want to make sure we keep track of what we're doing so uh, say for instance this is uh, if I wanted to use this say this this screen is like uh, like one intersection and the other one is the other inter inter intersection then I can easily come in here and, and duplicate these screens right now if I want to tag substitute what I'm gonna do is come in here and change this to operate off of this structure text instead of operating off the logic we previously had. So we're going to tag substitute, we're going to say the green light, and then we're going to come in here and replace this tag. We're going to come in here and in my program, I can come in here and refresh tags real quick, just to, to get a fresh data. And then I know this is my online process, right? So this is my online tags. I come down here to the very bottom. This is the program. Remember we said it was a program scope tag. Program scope and then traffic light logic. So this is going to be now I could use the drop down right here and get all my timers and stuff like that. This is going to be the actual bits and logic and stuff like that. So this is going to be uh, the the lights for instance like again this is traffic light one green so this is what the new tag will look like. So I'm going to replace the green light for number one with this this tag right here for the to operate off the structure text light on, right? So we're gonna replace that real quick and then hit replace all. And then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again and then do the red this time. Okay, so we're gonna do the red and don't worry about that. We can just delete that. We're not using that until you actually hit the replace button. Do you have to worry about anything? And then we're gonna come in here and replace this. This is the red, replace, done. We're going to come in here and do that one more time for the yellow. And we want to get the yellow. So let's get the yellow button. Replace that. And to double check that, we can come in here to just open it one, one last time, right? Just to double check all of them have changed. And now we come back here to the second light and change that. This is going to be light two. So this is light two on. Okay, so we'll replace that. And what you can do too is if you wanted, like say for instance, um, you don't have to do the whole tag. If a lot of it makes sense to do, you know, like say for instance, it was just a, the, the tag structure was pretty close together. You could just change, you could just search for a specific word like uh, L2, L1, you know, like I could easily come in here and just said, well, I just want to change this portion of the tag and then change it to L1, right? Now, again, so if I do that, I can, I'll, I'll actually show you this and show you how we're gonna fix it too, because what you're gonna see is you're gonna see that the 
the, t the current tag right here, which is going to be, this tag is going to change to L2. Well, and but keep in mind too that, again, this is going to actually do it for the whole object, right? So this is not going to be doing it for just this tag anymore. Now you can, but again, when it comes down to it, it's going to do it for the whole object. So if we were to do the same thing here, so let's just change this to light three. For instance, let me just show you this. Let's just go uh, light two. Light two would be light three. Right, so we'll do a, go ahead and do that. Replace all of them. It's got six tags. So everything in here now is going to say light three. Now we know we don't have a light three. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and change this again back to light two and then replace it. So we have that done. We're gonna come in here and finish up what we're doing. I just wanted to quickly explain that because there's a, often a misconception that people think that you can't just change part of the tag. You you know you have to change all of it, and you can you can change part of the tag. So I, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that there's a, a much simpler way if your tag structure is really 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 close that you can change that and have that line up perfectly. It saves you a, a dramatic amount of time when you're actually doing stuff. So. You don't have to pull these up like I'm doing on the very bottom. I'm just, I have a, <laughs> when I click on the top, sometimes I click on the bottom. It's just part of the nature of what I'm, I'm used to. Uh, get a little trigger happy on the on the mouse sometimes, well, you know. So just delete it or whatever, because if you don't delete it, it's gonna stack on top of each other. Like say for instance, if I do this and I do this, then, well, in some instances, they stack on top of each other. Like SE, sometimes it will stack on top of each other. In this instance, it replaced itself, which is very, you know, um, very helpful. But I, I just want to show that real quick. So now let's actually let's actually see this. Okay, so we'll hit save, and we'll see this running. Okay, so we have a green light on right now, right? And we have a yellow light on there. We have our red light. We have a green light on the other one. We have our yellow light going to come up in the next probably five seconds or three. three. We actually have our, our trucks racing, <laughs> so um, we're actually so this is the red light. That, so everything seems to be working just fine. And if you notice, again, these tags are completely different, right? So we've now enabled this. Now, now if we had another one, we could come under here and copy paste and change this to something else. Say if this was, you know, light three. Okay, so if, if this was light three, what we could do is we could say L2 and then L3 and then replace that. Okay, so then this would be light three. Now we don't have any tags for light three, but you can easily see, actually, uh, I didn't actually replace that right. So let me come in here and let's do LT1 one because I did LT2 so make sure that you're replacing make sure you're replacing the right thing so I did LT2 which there's no L LT2 it couldn't find anything right so I did LT2 and you need to make sure you do the right thing so this is LT1 so we'll replace this and make sure it says tag substituted perform six tags right all right so tag substitution perform six tags so now they're all the same so make sure you double check. This is the exact same reason why you see me open the screen again for the second time to verify that I double check to make sure that everything did actually transition over. Now again, um, to find out and to actually look at this stuff, you know, you, you can actually, um, you know, double check in what we just done right now, right? So, so say for instance right here. So let's run this other screen and you can tell these are going to operate slightly different. Okay. <clears throat> now this is going to operate. So I don't have this one running. Let's put this one running. Okay. So these side by side, you can tell these are running different logic, right? Because this one is obviously going to a red light right now. And this one's going to a green light. Right. So in the instance, I don't need the trucks on this one because they're actually going off the logic over here. I don't have them tagged over here. So we'll save that real quick and we'll just show that. Because what was happening is the, the logic that we did with the trucks and stuff, that, that's actually gonna be turned on over here. 
you know, it's actually going to be turned on when you have permission to go back and forth on this direction. So I want to make sure that they're right and they're working correctly and everything's lined up properly. You don't want to misguide traffic, so um, based upon how, how we control that animation. But again, when it comes down to it, you can see these are, are working differently. Now they're kind of somewhat in line, but you see they're still different, right? These two lights are different. Now you can run, if you wanted to, logically inside of the PLC logic, we could tie in and say this light first, this light second, right? So say if these lights were two intersections down, they were pretty close to each other. We didn't want them, you know, con you know, controlled real closely. But again, this is just a scenario. This is just something to get your mind going, get you to understand a, a basic principle, and then utilize these tools to see, for instance, like troubleshooting, like what we're doing, tag substitution, or coming in using animation, or coming in and building and you know an animation a layered graphic like what we did as far as the, the actual uh, lights that we have right so I wanted to give a, a good solid implementation and there's no better way than something we use every single day is like a traffic light right we, we all you know we may, may stop what we're doing right now and go to the store and see a traffic light and understand oh hey you know um, you know I know how to I've, I've done that you know I, I know that basic principle or even get ideas from it right so um, what I wanted to do is just quickly show you too that you can use this many different ways and tag substitute right here is a really good, really really powerful tool when it comes to saving you time and saving you programming effort so you know keep that in mind when you're, you're using graphics and you're moving graphics around and you're, you're doing different things you have that tool in your back right you have that tool and and what you're doing so you can always come in here too and look at things a different way so again so you could go in here and do this this way and change all these one or two ways this way which would take you each one of these and trying to figure out which graphic and clicking on everything and going back or you could just take the simpler way right like the simple way that we just did come over here and do tag substitution and make the new tag wherever you want to tag it to whether it be external or whether you just want to change it right here and just change the t the maybe one of the pieces of the tag, right? Set of green, set of red, uh, red, red to yellow, whatever the case may be, whatever your tag is, you can change the structure of it, right? So just understand the way things are and, you know, as far as the, the tag structuring and when you're doing that. And oftentimes too, when you're getting to these very, very, very big uh, animations where their syntax is very, very big, what you can do is you can take it and you're, you're gonna be changing a piece of it and when you change a piece of it, you're going, you may get uh, kind of lost as far as like, or maybe even, we're, we're creatures that have it. So say for instance, I came in here and I just said, okay, I just want to change this out. And I just want to copy this. So if I just said, I want to change this out, but say for instance, this was a big structure or a big like syntax or something like that. Then I would come back and if I didn't get it right, right in here right say for there was two of these but if I said this and this okay so now it gets a little bit bigger it gets a little bit harder to see it gets a little bit harder to understand so if I was doing this this would be the same thing up here right this would be duplicated up here and if I wanted to change this I would have to come in here and just highlight this section and paste and then the same thing down here, I would have to highlight down here and paste. Now, if I missed the period, or if I missed the, you know, dash, or, if, or say for instance, that we got pretty close to the, the space, the, the bars over here for the shortcut, or something like that, then it could affect that. So again, when you come down to it, you can see that by going and testing it over here, or you can, you, you know, and if it doesn't work, then what's gonna happen is, Obviously, it's going to wireframe. It's it's not good. So, if, say for instance, we broke this right here. We said, okay, well, we want uh, light three right here. Okay. Okay. So we're going to come in here, and we're, being that we don't have it, it's going to be broke. So you see that it's kind of wireframe. It's not there uh, again with in in animation the way things are. So what we're going to do is come and substitute this again. We're going to put this in here, and I just want to highlight this I don't want to like talk about this too much but I, I want to highlight this is when you get into bigger systems and you get into larger systems you're gonna see that with the the, the um, syntax because say for instance uh, the syntax as far as uh, something like what we've done here 
let's see, this is the syntax right here, animation. So this syntax, if we want to replace it, again, or we want to replace this one, right? There are two different ways, right? So if I come in here and replace that tag substitution, I can do that the same exact way. So don't think you can't change a, a, a syntax with an if then else statement. If you want to, you can, right? It just, it's the power of, of automation. It's the power of, you know, really kind of what you want to do. So tag substitution is very, very powerful, but it's very uh, much something you need to, to uh, keep control of. So what I do often, and I'll give you a little tip, is what I do is I'll go into uh, a notepad, open that up, and if, if it gets really long, then I'll come in here and drag this over here and edit it over here. So I'll duplicate that and I'll come over here and say, oh, my new tag I want to do is, oh, it's no longer a program scope, right? Then it's just a, you know, so if I, if I changed all my tags and my program to it, it's no longer controller scope, it's just a shortcut here and then it's the program tag here, right? So let's just say, for instance, I took this all the tag structure for the, the structure tags and took it out of program scope and I made it controller scope. I could easily come in here and change that just by tag substituting that. But I like to write it out here so I understand where I'm changing it. And that's just one little tip to help you if you get into those large systems. But for what we just did right here, really simple, real cut and dry. And again, uh, just another way to really save you time and save you effort. Now I kind of, you know, this video went kind of long because the simple fact of I'm, I'm showing you different ways and showing you different ways to, to troubleshoot it and go back and think about it and go back and use it. And, you know, it's just one of those things. But when you're really just copy and pasting, it's just as simple as copy, paste, drag over here, replace your tags, and then it, I mean, it's so simple. Within seconds, you can have a whole system up and running if you already have it pre-built and again, have it functioning. So uh, with all that said, we can see you guys on the next one.